Uh, welcome everybody to another beautiful day of trading with the vamp and uh, listen it has been an amazing day right really good day uh, the only thing I'm not a little bit unhappy at this moment about is the fact that uh, we didn't fill this higher gap so to me just says you know what what my thought process is is no matter how far we go down we are still going to come back up right and i feel that that's that's exactly what i've been saying we're in phase 1 of the bull run here of the of the bull run right so we still have some gap that's open up here on the uh, the cme chart right we we still have it right if we take a look over at our line chart which i've uh, advised everyone to do right i've advised everybody to get a line chart um, you know, you sh you can see that we're just testing the 618 right now. So the, 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 we found support with the price action on the line chart at the 618 area. And it looks like, you know, it's, it's trying to hold right here. Now, we did create a new lower low. So we're going to have to adjust our charts, right? So this uh, last night also, yeah, I just want, I want everybody to just make sure that, it, you know, I've been trying to share this over and over and over in the group that there's, you know, don't go long over a one-to-one -one trade. We, we, we entered at the bottom. Uh, we entered at the bottom. We, uh, we entered on this bounce right here. We knew this bounce was coming. We, we called the bounce perfect. We played the bounce. Uh, I moved my stop loss up. I got taken out. It was, you know, a one-to-one -one trade. I made like, ah, 600 bucks 700 bucks something like that in the in the end it wasn't that much but it was still free money right uh, i then you know we've been holding our shorts down and we've put all of this inside if you're not a member you know you should be love to have you join over here uh but we made all these calls in the vamp area so if you are a vamp member you know we we listen we've, we've been making these calls and we told everybody you know that if especially we're going to go over the Bollinger Bands in a second okay but I just want to make sure that everybody you know got the uh, all the members especially you know we were playing the one-to-one -one long but we held our shorts right we held our short this is me because we didn't fill the top gap I'm, I was still not happy about that. I'm still not happy about that. I do feel we filled the July gap. I feel we did fill the July gap and I showed that, right? And uh, so on the CMEs, uh, their actual website, it does show that that did get filled, right? So uh, here, here was basically our trade yesterday that we called out, right? Uh, so this is our short, you know, I, I did remove part of my short trade at the bottom. I actually added back into my short trade a little bit. I will share that with everybody. I'll share my trades. I always do. And, uh, and you know, this was, this was a, another good call, right? That, you know, we expected for there to be more blood. I did remove any up arrow. I did call the bounce. And here's the, here's the critical thing right now for everyone, right? Here's the critical thing. The daily has not broken bear we have just clearly so actually let me clean this chart up so we're going to get rid of this right now this is gone right uh we filled the july gap we're going to get rid of the symmetrical triangle that also is gone uh we broke this uh wedge line right here so this wedge is gone there was that that was support that wedge was like that that is gone uh, we can leave this top. Uh, we're going to leave this top. Uh, this is fine to leave this top trend line. Um, we're going to have to go over here and hunty hunty down to see if we can find. See, it doesn't look good because all the trend lines are pretty much gone. And we'll see that on some of the other charts we have. Um, no, I mean, I, I really can't even see a trend line right here unless it's something like this. Right, so unless it's something like that right there, right? I mean, that's kind of the only one I could possibly see some trend line like that. Uh, that would haul us right back down to exactly where we expect to go, right? So we're going we're gonna to have to do this right here now, right? Because that's the only thing I can see, right? Something like that. But let's, let's jump, jump back. I want to jump back over here to this, to this daily chart right here. So the daily chart shows that this the uh, this is our God mode. Thank you very much. This is uh, I, I want to say we got this from uh, David Ward. Thank you, David Ward, if you're out there. 
And uh, so thank you so much, Dave Ward, if you're out there, buddy. Love you. And, you know, here what you see is you see that uh, we have not broken bearish on the um, – on the the god mode right this is and we we went over this last night and this is uh, listen if you all have i'm going to show this to you you should all have this is the god mode lsma this shows you the bearish trends and when the bearish trends happen and this is something we outlined yesterday for all the members and let me show you guys here so this is so see this the blue line the green line right so take a look at this so every time you break lower than the 33, which is this green line right here. Let me see, let me move this up. We don't need this right on there. Hugging that. There we go. See this green line right here? That's the 33.3. You see it's right over here, right? Every time you break that 33.3 is a confirmation of a bear trend, right? You can see how I, I lined this out for everybody yesterday. Made that very simple. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, I made that very simple for everybody to understand. <laughs> Trading alarms going off saying, we're dumping! Nah, I'm, I'm here, I already know that, right? So uh, you can see that, you know, what I like to play the green line also. The green line, when your green line breaks on the on the south side, that's also what we call the bearish clause, and we are, the bearish clause have taken over right now. And then there it is again, and this is kind of what I'm looking at here. So, like, if we would have bounced off this, which is still possible, still possible, right? We have not confirmed a bearish trend yet. Like we've got to let go of this 9,600 area, right? We've just got to let go of it, right? This is where you insert the frozen Elsa song, let it go. Uh, you know, but I, I am expecting to, in order to test the AK, I'm expecting for this to drop down and continue with a bearish trend. And... A break and close below this, and I'm talking a substantial break and close, is the AK to 6K region. And I am not bearish. I just can't be now, especially with those upper gaps in place. I cannot be bearish. And once again, we cannot confirm a bearish break on the daily until this is broken. Right, this is not broken, so we're going to throw this in the members area. We cannot, con we cannot confirm a bearish break. Right, still, right, holding. This is still holding bull right here. I know we had a bearish break, and we see that the price action it, it has taken a dump on us. But this is still holding to the bullish side right here. Look at the fake out we had last time. Ah, this huge, this fake out right here. Oh, that's just mean. That's just me. There's another fake out right there, right? That's just mean to do that to us, right? So you can see where these fake outs happen. Let's go down here. We can see, look at the, this is where the last fake out happened right here. So when we were playing this, you know, people are like, oh, vamp, you know, why do you think we're going down one more time? You know, this was when we also entered into this triangle. We got the long call right here. Remember, we got the long call on the three-day scalper right here. And we entered into a 3,100 to 3,200 trade. That's uh, That was on my charts, right? So we, we entered into a 3,132. Like here, look, we are breaking bullish. We entered into that long BTC trade, right? 31 to 3,200. We got into this at 5 BTC. So our total buying was 5 BTC here. And then we got back out of this when this happened, right? We got out of a portion of our trade. We still held on to some of our long trade, but we exited a part of our trade right there. And we still held on. And we eventually, uh, I think I got rid of most of my trade, like around five or 6,000. And it was pretty much all out of it by 6,000, 7,000. I was completely out of that one-to-one -one trade. Uh, I didn't have anything left, but I did hold on to a little bit up into this area and then got rid of it. Because uh, we, I mean, we're so far bull. Look at this. It's just like a screaming bull here. Then we came down and tested this little teaser right here, right? Little teaser, little, ah, psych. And then once again, we just bounced right off that, took off to a brand new all-time high right here of that 13.2 range. Now, 
at this point, we had entered into our shorts, right? We all got into our shorts up here. We had perfect short entry right here. Then we got into a second perfect short entry right here because we knew that the trend was bearish at this time. We knew we were still trending bearish here. We saw the green line trending bearish and break the 31 right the uh the 33.3 right here the the green also broke it that's a bearish signal we broke it here we got into a second short trade there so you see how well this actually this indicator works out this thing is just absolute beauty if you don't have it you should have it okay you guys should have this trend this it's very simple i want you to go right this is the god mode 3.1 you really only need the blue line and the green line. You don't need the uh, the energy bands. I have the energy bands on another trade, right? Uh, on another thing. So it's called the God Mode with LSMA, right? And this comes from David Ward. You guys want to David? Uh, you guys can message David Ward over on Twitter. Uh, David Ward. There's David. So listen. You go over here, you give David a message. David's the guy who can unlock this for you, okay? If you don't have this indicator, David is the one who can unlock this uh, indicator for you. Listen, this is free. I'm giving you this for fucking free. 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 Take it. I'm trying to help all of you guys trade. David is trying to help all of you guys trade, okay? We want you guys to all be successful, Right. If you don't have this, this is how you get this. All right. All right. So message Dave and he will get you that. Right. Here is how you get this indicator. Just message David Ward. He is also on the YouTube chat as Proud Clown. All right, there we go. Hey, I got my first super, my first super chat from Law. Thank you, man. Dude, you're my hero. <laughs> I love it. I just got my first super chat. Yay! Hmm. I got it from a member. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Law. You're my hero, buddy. Uh, you're my hero. <laughs> yeah, the love death note. <laughs> too soon, Knox. Too soon. They're, they're, they're trying to fix everything over there. All right. So let's jump into uh, let's jump into this. I know I'm excited. That's my very first one, right? My very first uh, chat. I made my very first uh, 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 super chat tweet, right? All right. So I want to go down here, and we are gonna put a note down here. Okay. So we do want to put a note. Hey, Paul! Woohoo! Man, my second! Listen, you just, you, I want you to know that if you follow up, uh, you're following up law, you're in good hands right there, Paul. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. Really appreciate that, buddy. That is awesome. I am no longer a, uh, a virgin. I am no longer a super chat virgin. Man, I really, really appreciate that. I now have been tipped one. I'm no longer an American dollar uh, super chat virgin or a, a uh, English pound super chat virgin either. I really appreciate that from both you guys. Thank you so much. Hope this information helps out. All right. So listen, we're going to put a note over here on our chart. Right. We're going to throw a big fat note over here. We have not confirmed a bearish uh, trend until the blue line breaks the green 33.3 horizontal right all right so we're gonna pop that in right there squeeze that down a little bit all right I'm gonna make this a little darker a lot darker Okay. 
Let me see if I can get a nice fat arrow for everybody. All right, we'll make this yellow. Actually, what we'll do is we'll make this white. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's buzz along on our charts here and see what we have to do. Uh, I'll soon have enough to get a Hot Wheels Lambo. That's right. Hey, Fifth, it's all right, buddy. Just having you guys here. I appreciate you guys being here. I really do. Really appreciate everybody being here. So thank you. Um, let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Yeah, we're just bouncing off the 618 is what's happening. I'm a little bit upset that we didn't close out this higher. Um, we did put in a new low. There's the weekly. Nothing there. The volume was dropping. We basically were watching the volume drop last night. Mm, nothing. All right, there. This is the, probably the most important thing right here, right? Look at that. We have now lost the. We have now lost the. We've now lost the structure. I mean, I can't. I just can't do that now. I can't make that work. Right. I'm. I'm trying to adjust this. Uh the. Um. Let me see. I'll show you. Give me a second. Hey, thank you. So, how does T uh, how TF does how the fuck does this work? Wow, thank you so much, Realty One. Which one do you need to know about, buddy? Right. So let's go. So if you go into your so it's an invite only script, okay? And it is where is it at? No, it's not. It's not. Let's find it. God mode. All right, where's it at? God mode. There it is. And it is this one right here. This is it. It's a free one, everybody. It is a free one. So, all right, what you do is you go over to your, your this is the one you want. All right, let me, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Just type in God mode. All right. And you want the one for Litecoin. This is the one you want. Everybody go get this one, okay? This is the one you want. Now, this really, I only use this on the daily. Uh, so, I only use this on the daily, right? And I, that's what you do. You see, what you want to do is you want to go on and you want to use this on the daily. I know it's for Litecoin. Don't judge me. It still freaking works, okay? So, you just click on it. And watch, what I'll do is I'll add it onto this chart for you guys, right? So I just added it onto this chart. Okay. Here it is right here. There it is. I always like to brighten mine up a little bit, right? I like to brighten mine up. Remember, this is on the 12 hour, so we're going to switch this over to the daily. So what I do is you come over. This is how you load this up, right? I would, I would double click on this. First thing I would do is I would just make these damn things brighter. Right? I'd make the green brighter. Right, I would make the, I don't use, you don't need the red one here. I don't, the red one confuses me more than anything. You're going to brighten up your blue, right? And then I always, I, I try to make this one purple. So I try to make this purple. If you want the energy band, you can make the energy band purple. What this does is this shows when the trend is exhausted or not. So, you know, you can use this if you want or not. So then you want to come over, you want to grab a horizontal line. Right, you want to f zoom in here. You want to find that 33.3. There it is. Boom. Okay, add the 33.3 on there. Then you want to lock that into place. Just grab it and throw the little lock on there. And then this is exactly how you do it. And this is where we're at, right? And we're just kissing that line right there. You can actually make this a little bit bigger if you want. Make that line a little bit bigger like that. There you go. So this is your bull and break bull and bear. So this is your bull bear break uh, trend confirmation line, right at 
33.3. So then you just go ahead and label that your bull and bear confirmation trend line at 33.3. The other thing is that sometimes I like to make that the same color so I know exactly what that line is, right? And then there you have it. It's exactly how it works. And now this, you, you want to set this up on the daily. The most important thing is you want to keep this on the daily, All right? So there you go. Everybody just saw how to set that up. All right. So now we're going to get rid of this because we don't use this on this chart. Boom. It's gone. Okay. And we got to go back to the 12-hour chart. Some of my charts I only use on 12 hours, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, seriously, if you guys join the stream... <laughs> Right, you guys make a lot more money joining the uh, the group than you would uh, here. So, all right, and ah, shit, I should hold on a second. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna okay. Do this. So we have a. If you're in the vamp area, we have a vamp training. There it is. Right, we have this FAMP training area. Here is how you set up the Yeah. All right, that way it's over there for all the members too. Okay. All right, let's get rid of this. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, I got a little pushed off there. And what I want to do is I want to get this off here. Okay. Um, this needs to go back to twelve hour. All right. So where were we? So listen. This is, let's take a look here. So we have broken the market structure of this, but I, I want to go and I want to hunt down and see if there's another possibility. <gasps> there kind of is. Right? So now we have to put this trend line in here. You have to do it. You have to have every possibility. Okay. So we've broken that previous channel. Now it's going to be a lot harder to make that a channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a channel. Let's see if we can make that a channel. Mm, yeah, that's possible. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that as much. Because there's no top side here. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh. Yep, that's correct. I mean, that's real close right there. Right? That's really, really close right there. Get the hell out of there. Right? Look at that. All right, so now we have to go with a new channel, right? There's that breakout, and this is invalidated down here, so you lose that touch point down there. Okay, so you got that, you got that, and you now got that. Just going to mark that out.
Hmm. Damn. I'm not happy. We I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave that top gap right there, okay? I'm going to leave that top gap right there. I'm going to list this as our new channel. Okay, add everyone. New channel created. All right, we broke the last channel. Uh, Peak says, Vamp, we pierce through the channel and get back in. See the 21MA acting as support at the weekly. Got it, yes. Okay, I can do the weekly chart. Yeah, let's. I can do that. Let's go over here. We're going to take a look at the weekly chart. All right, we're going to add the 21. Yeah, that's the EMA, right? Yeah. People use. All right, so we're going to throw up an indicator here. Shit, EMAs. Which one? This one? Hey, 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 Alex! Thank you so much, buddy! Dude, that's awesome! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Wow! $20! Holy shit! Jesus Lord! Seriously, that is amazing! Just gave me like a, you gave me like a half chubby there, buddy. Gave me like a half chubby. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's great, dude. Thank you so much. I'm glad you made some money on that. That's awesome. I, I had somebody message me today, shoot me a DM, said they made a bunch of money on shorting 11K. Uh, and they were they were watching the charts live. He wasn't a member either. So that's so awesome. Thank you. Uh, Peak, is this the right one? Is this it right here? Let's take a look and see what we got right here. 21 EMA. Can you adjust this? You can't adjust it. Oh, thank you so much, DM. Dude, I'm trying. Peek, which EMA did you use? I'm trying to find which EMA he used. I'll use the double EMA, right? See if I can adjust it. Why can't? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can't adjust it. 21. Ah, yes. There it is. Good eye peak. I don't like that as much. Right? I mean, I prefer if it caught the bottoms of these. It would be more accurate. You know what I'm saying? If it caught the bottoms of all these. I mean, I like how it rode that up. Like, I like how it rode this up. But I, I would like to see this hold these lines right here. Kind of like that daily does for us, right? Let's do this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back. We're going to compare this. So there's the, there's the monthly. There's the monthly. Right? And what I want to do is let's bring up a daily. So we got our daily over here. And we're going to use the vamp fib. All right, let's get rid of that. It's gone. Uh, we're going to use the vamp fib here. And let's see. We, should, we might have the vamp already on here. No, we don't. So if you don't have the VAMP FIB people, I have my own FIB right here. It's the VAMP 6MA forecast. Uh, this is, so this is the all the ones I use. So I'll just go over here. I'm just going to use the 128 is the most important one. Whew. See, this is the one I like better. I like this. This is the one I like better right here. 
Uh, it's almost like that. Yeah, it's almost the same. It's almost the same. But this one, oh, it's freaking Binance. All right, never mind. I got a Binance track. This one actually catches all of these bottoms, though. This one actually streaks down and catches all the bottoms. You know, caught the top there, caught the top there, ran the top there. There's the breakthrough. Like, this is the one that is my bull and bear line. You guys always know that. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to go back. I'll, I'll leave that up there, but unfortunately, that's a Binance one. Uh, but good catch on that, uh, Pete. Good catch on that. You know, what's funny is that that uh, that 21 EMA also lines up with a 618, right? So that lines up with a 618. Sorry, this video is taking so long. All right, so we also landed on historical right here. So we did land on some historic, a historical line on the RSI. So the RSI landed on a historical line. All right, RSI landed on a trend line. Yeah, Schwartz, <laughs> he's active, at least he's active. He's a little, all right, let's buzz through here. Uh, all right, so we're on the support over here. Actually, we're fine with that. Oh, bearish break. Did not fill the upper gap. God, see, this says this filled this freaking gap right there. Right? All right, so our TTM, uh, that we are, we're broken. So on the, the trend, all right, where are we at? So we're 18 hours. Okay, so this is super important to watch this, right? This is super important because we broke the trend right here, right? And this is also huge. The TTM broke the to the bear side here before the God mode did right so this broke the this bearish trend that goes all the way back right to january look at that broke that it's the first time we've broken lower on that so that is yes that is very bearish right, that is very bearish that's a bearish signal right there okay take a look at the weekly obv has broken got a long way to go with this though people right we got a long way to go with this it's only tuesday so but the weekly is broken the three days broken and the daily is on support right so we we're like we're seeing that and that support is showing up a, again is that 618 area on the line chart so on the line chart that's that's showing up is the 618 uh daily is still in daily obv Still on the bullish on the trend support, right? The weekly and three day have uh, broken, but need to close on the higher time frames. So you still have to close this weekly structure out and this three-day structure out because both those three-day structures fell out and they still have to close. This looks like we're going to close the three-day today. So this three-day should close today. Uh, we're at 1,800 hours right now. So this has got, you know, you got, what, four hours left or something like that. You got six hours, uh, five and a half hours left. So we got five and a half hours left. We broke the 50 MA on the daily right the 50 ma on the daily also got broken so we broke the fit we tested the 50 ma we bounced off it we hit the 30 ma and then we are going to cross bearish today so at everyone 
We also are going to have a bear cross on the daily. All right, so we've also got that daily bear cross coming. There it is right there, right, in 5.5 .5 hours. So five and a half hours from now, we're going to have that daily bear cross coming. Man, once again, Alex, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate that tip, man. Thank you very much. Um, let's spread this out. Spread that bad boy out. All right, we're good. <sighs> yes, just coming back to that. Nothing. I don't need this anymore. Look at that three day. Three day thirty MA. You know that that's that that's that eight K to eighty five hundred support area we talked about with the point five oh fib the thirteen K Let me think about this for a second, people. Ah, sorry, Anthony. Oh, shit. That white. Yeah, all right, let's buzz along here. Yeah, there's that bear cross. Jesus Christ. There's that 12 hour bear cross. There's the daily bear cross. Yep, 
Yeah, that's just that daily bear cross is going to be a continuation play. And then what you have to watch out for is then that you're going to get that daily, but still you're not going to have the next bear cross of that, uh, the 7 and the 50. It's going to take a while for that second bear cross to play out. Nothing. Still a weekly bull cross and monthly bull cross, right? Look at that cup and handle forming on the weekly. Take a look, boys, at this, boys and girls, at this cup and handle I still forming on the weekly, right? Higher time frame here. The weekly and monthly still active. You know, you've got a lot of support. There's just, there's so much support at 6K. It's insane. That's just why I keep saying this. This 6K region is just absolutely beastly, right? You're just, this, this 6K area. I mean, it's just going to be almost impossible to break 6K. And I keep saying, it's, you know, that's a, that's a really good thing. Why doesn't this have the TD count on it? Oh, it does. There it is. All right, yeah. So we, we do have a TD red one, so that's great. See, we need this red one, people, on the weekly. Higher time frame Bollinger Bands. Uh, we've pierced the, the 12 hour, really just fell out on us. We're chasing the 12 hour. Daily's chasing. Right? Uh, 12 hour, yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. All right, so this is what we were talking about yesterday. If you guys had to... Um, Kaiser says, what do you think about a huge head and shoulders? I don't see a huge head and shoulders, buddy. Here's kind of what I see. And remember, we talked about the three-day chart, right? Uh, what I see is this double top right here. This is this is really... Uh, this is what we were looking at. And I... I, I, I put in my thing yesterday and on Twitter for everybody, you know, how to load up that, uh, the TDI chart. Like what I see here, this structure looks kind of like this structure here, right? At least on, look, this was a double top. This was a double top, right? So you got a double top, boom, and you got a double top here and boom. So you got the double top on the uh, you got the double top over here on the TDI chart, and then this is the structure we're looking here to break. Look, my alarm is about to go off because this thing is going to pierce my alarm. You can see my alarm is set right there, right there's my alarm line, right. This thing is about to go off my alarm line if it breaks that because it's showing it's breaking the Bollinger Band. I put this up yesterday for everybody to see how to set your charts up. Like I did that on Twitter. If you guys didn't have a chance, uh, go over to Twitter. Sorry, Dave's gonna get bombarded with messages. Right, you're gonna go over to Twitter. And I show you exactly how to set this up, right? Here's what you need to do. Load the BTC bitstamp chart. Load the TDI indicator, the J Donovan one. Find the TDI blue Bollinger Band, the lower Bollinger Band. Right, and I, I show you exactly how to set your charts up to see the exact same thing that I'm seeing right here. Look, and I get 53 likes on this damn thing. <laughs> I tell people how to freaking how to win. Nobody likes it. I get no likes. I get sad face. All right, so you see that what happens when we break market structure here, and you know there it is. This is about to trigger my alarm. Right, I'm gonna take this alarm off because I might not be here, so I'm gonna delete this alarm. Right, because it'll 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 trigger. It's gonna. I'll, I'm actually gonna set it a little bit lower. Let's set it a little lower, like here. All right? How's that? All right. It just moved it a little bit lower. So what happens when you break this market structure here? Right. When you break the Bollinger Band, the lower Bollinger Band, this is what happens. Right. They just mayhem. Here, let me bring this up here like this. Right. 
So when you break the market structure on the TDI three day, uh, you basically get this. So here it tried to hold, see look, you came down, you came down, it tried to hold this, and you're doing the same thing. And then every time you do this, what this is, is a confirmation of trend right here, right? And we're, we're at the same point right now. Now, our support is going to be the Gauss, right? And you see where this top Gauss line is, right? This is where our top Gauss line is. Now, it always wants to go back to the middle Gauss, right? And the middle Gauss is the parked at the 6K region right here. So it always, it's like this wants to go back and forth and back and forth. Now, you can see that the top Gauss, and this moves up pretty quickly it's you know it does move up pretty quickly so you guys can see that you know we're looking for the support this is why I'm like this is why I keep saying this is why I keep saying 8 to 8500 the top gauss and 6k the middle blue gauss Right, so it's the middle blue gauss. That's why I, I just I don't see us going any lower than that. Right, I just can't see us going any lower than that. I just feel like we're gonna get support. We're gonna come down. We're gonna come down into this range, and we're just that. Then then it's gonna be phase two of the bull run. Then this would be phase two. Right, this is phase one. Right, this is phase one from here to here, and then this is phase two, and and you're looking in this 8500, right? 8500 to 8k is your first support, and then you have your next support level is the 6k area, right? I just, I, I prefer this, and let me show you why I prefer this, right? I, I prefer this over that because if we were to just to come up right here, right, and come up and, and give this a second shot right here, if we were to do this, all this is going to do is just, it's going to force this Gauss, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to force this TDI to come up and run into the yellow TDI that's starting to lob over, and then we're going to run into that yellow TDI and we could actually do a much more dramatic pattern because that would give us this kind of uh, this kind of this pattern right here, right? It would give us something like that, and you can see what I mean by this, right? Then here you go, kind of there, 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 there. Right, I don't want to set this pattern up right here is what I don't want to do. I don't want to set this pattern up here. What I prefer to do is I prefer to come down right into here and this is what we want to do. We want to do this like this right here and we want to hold. We want to hold. We want to hold this area right in here. I want to hold this area right here okay this would be much better just a little come down a little swoopins little baby swoopins like this right here right come down with little baby swoopins the Bollinger Band curves over and then this holds our 8500 range and then this just goes just like that right there this is a much cleaner look this I don't like this is no good right this down here into this Gauss band area, right, is exactly what we want. We want something like this. Like that's good. Yeah, what I'll do is this. Nope, custom pen. Okay, okay. We're going to come down and then go up. And then you're going to come down into this. And it, honestly, it can go as low as this. So what we'll do is do this. Do that as a green area. 
Let me do a green. This is 8,800 to 8. It's kind of the warning level. And this is that 6K area, 6K-ish. Like I don't want to drop any lower than this in a market structure like this. We really don't want to drop pretty much any lower than this 6K structure like this because then you're, you're, you're starting to get into the danger zone and then you're going to have to throw in the red pen. And then you throw in the red pen and really you're the 51, like this area is red, right, alert. Like I, I don't see us going back here because we just have so much support, right? We have... So, uh, support massive 6k like we just have so much support at 6k I just I, I can't see us dropping I mean I we go down let's fill it right and uh, oh nice I'm gonna have to go macrodisiac Go check that out. Thank you for that. Let's go find this guy. Macrodisiac. Uh oh. Gotta take that out. Hmm. He's on Twitter? Underscore. Nope. Hmm. Can't find him. He's on Twitter. Not the hunted down. Shoot me a link to him. Marco. Marco, got it. Okay, okay, okay. Marco, Marco, Marco. Marco. Dude, I can't find him. Marco DZ. Yeah, I spell Marco. M A R C O. Marco. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Macro. Ah. Oh, I already know him. I'm already following him. Yeah, I already follow him. Yeah, we'll do. All right, come on. Let's get let's get through this crap. Sorry, sorry, buddy. I gotta just oh oof ah, oof oof. Check that out, peoples. Check that out. That is a deep bearish trend. All right, so the ADX. The ADX daily just broke bear right so the adx daily just broke bear what you, let me see let me see what you got so the adx daily just broke bear that's ugly that's not good at all 
uh, blew up the support and resistance like I told you it would. And I said this is bare as fuck, but you guys already know that. Weekly. Weekly. Like I said, it was... All right, the weekly is just doing what we thought it was going to do. Nothing. Shorts, unbelievable. Still in disbelief. Uh, market structure. We're actually breaking the market structure. Now on almost three of these on the 30-day timeline. So the CMF market structure. Right? CMF. 30 day is broken on all of the exchanges. It's her chart. Still nothing. Still the ADX. Not calling it. Oh, shit. WMA, TSI on support. And just like I thought it would. And like we thought, the NVT chart was on a weak support and it broke. All right. Oh, alt's taken air beaten. Alt's taken the beaten. Right? All right, all right, so let's, uh, I gotta get back over here. We're gonna pull up our main chart that we're using still. Okay, still using our main chart. Uh, give me one moment, please, everybody. I wanna do this, I've got one more chart left to do. Okay, and here's what we're gonna look at. Ah, shit, alts are still holding. Hmm. Wow, even though they just completely shit the bed. God damn. Damn. How are alts holding? How is the alt market cap holding? Is this thing broken? Alt MC still holding in the range. But alts took a dump. Right? That's crazy. So somebody is holding this up. What the hell is it? Let's go see what it is. Right? Let's go find out what it is. All right, look at $78 XR uh, Litecoin. <laughs> uh, $199, went all the way down to $188 Ethereum. All right, so Ethereum just tested the... Uh, Ethereum just tested the Ethereum just tested the is is on support a second time. Right? ETH daily on support again. This is strong support. Right? Lose is this and ah oh, fuck man, 150 bucks. Nah. Fuck, 188. It's next. And I mean, it's on some freaking strong support right now. Damn. I mean, this is freaking ugly.
Litecoin died. Oh, man. Oh, look at BNB. God, that's such a beautiful daily candle they had. Just, ugh. Uh, still haven't got that double bottom call over here where I would like to get that. Still have not. Look at this bullish structure here on the 12 hour. Like, dud, dying, ugh. Right, on XRP. Uh, let's see what we got here. Look at our larger. Ah, ooh, looky, looky, looky. Looky, 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 boys and girls. There's XRP. Look at that support from historical. Look at how old this vamp chart is. Looky, looky, looky. Landed on long time support. Right? Take a look at that. Right? Look at that right there. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, there's crows. You can hear them, yeah. Bunch of birds are usually fighting with chickens or hawks or something. All right, but look at this. Take a look on the RSI, how the RSI is different this time, right? Look at how the RSI right here, let's change this to yellow. Look at how the RSI previously held these this, this line, right? The RSI held this line, and then now we've broken that market support on XRP. That's on a s shit. Is that a six? It's a six. Is that a six? What the hell is that? A six. Yeah, man. You you know what? This is. I mean, it's held support here. This is a good gamble. This is a, you know this is a nice little gamble play right here, right? If you're feeling frisky, you know. If you're feeling frisky, this support has held, and uh, the R to R was good on big bounces. Right, I approve a long play on this. Just set your stop loss under the orange line at 28 cents. Right, I would go just a little lower. I'd probably be like 27.9. Set the stop loss at 0.277, right? Something tight. I mean, you kind of want to be tight. I mean, you, you can actually be at 27, not just maybe 28. Uh, maybe 28, uh, 0.2828. It's not bad. That's not a bad one. Right, stop loss at you know twenty uh point two seven nine. Right, there we 
go. Okay. I mean, I, I like this. I like this. I like this. This this is... It's a good risky trade, you know what I'm saying? You can't really beat this one. You're literally going to do something like that. You're going to target the 30 MA. Link. <laughs> All right, I warned everybody yesterday about Link that I think the devs are dumping Link. Super shitty. Uh, Tron. Fuck. Like, alts dying. Jesus Christ, looking for EOS. Help me! Nope, all died. Yeah, I would say the only play that I would look at is... I mean, you know, the, Ethereum's not bad either. Ethereum's trying to hold right here. All right? The problem is if we dump on BTC, Ethereum is just fucking done. Right? There's just no ifs, ands, or buts. If we dump on BTC, Ethereum is done. Right, so, uh, you know, my, my thing is, I mean, oh, shit. Okay, hold on a second. The members have some questions. <laughs> Delios, you're funny. Um, you know, where was Raven? Where was Raven? Where's my Raven chart? Yeah. Uh, you know. I mean, Raven just made a huge head and shoulders. It just made a massive head and shoulders is what it did. Yeah, Ultra just bleeding the F out. <laughs> this is actually good, though. This is actually good. The alt market cap is actually good. Yeah, I wouldn't look at buy the... Uh, <laughs> One day is asking, which alts do you look at buying the whole long term? Yeah, well, you know, I still, listen, I'm still, you guys know what my picks are. Uh, yep, Mr. Sailor, I will check it on the way on my drive. I got a, I got a dentist appointment today. Bum, bum, bum. It sucks to know. All right, let me, I will check that message, sir. This still is not bad for alts here as it is holding the structure. BTC and the alts have crashed. Is this thing broken? Right, is this thing freaking broken? The hell? All right, everybody, uh, hold on one second, hold on one second.
All right, sorry, everybody. Had a phone call coming in. Um, why hasn't the market alt cap market just taken a shit right here? Why hasn't it taken a shit? I don't know. Oh, Mr. Sailor sent me. Sailor, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your, I'm looking at my messages. Oh, I got you. I got you. I, get I see. Oh, I see. Santa, I like that. I'm gonna send that to uh, the team. Uh, Law, did you see this? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna send this to you guys. Take a look at what Mr. Santa sent. I'm gonna send this to. Until it's an alert system for the members, it sends out automatic alerts. Got it. I just, uh it's an alert bot. It's an alert bot. All right, got it. Man. So back to this alt cap. This market, this alt market cap. Market cap. Why have you not fallen out, alt market cap? Why have you not fallen out? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, BTC Dom can go pretty high. Let's take a look at that here. Hmm, yeah, like, man, if BTC Dominance takes a shit right here, like, everything's going to take a shit. Or alts could take off.
Give me a second, everybody. <laughs> All right, back. Seriously, the wife just scared the living poop out of me, man. <laughs> she scared the living poop out of me. Don't marry a ninja. Freaking ninja. All right, there we go. Mark, mark it all cap. Yep. All right, everybody. Listen, I am done. Right. I want to say thank you all to so uh, to everybody out there, man. I really, really appreciate everyone. Uh, I really do. Thank you all so much. Uh, it's been my pleasure being here. Listen, thank you all again for the tips. Uh, absolutely means so much to me. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody out there. Um, really appreciate all the tips. Super excited to finally be able to monetize my channel, all the work I have put in. And uh, for me and the vamp and all of us here at Until uh, <laughs> Trading Associates, thank you so much, Peak. Uh, you're the man, you're the myth, and you're the legend. Thank you, Law. Thank you all for being here. I am the vamp, and I am out.